Okay, so when it comes to bathing your dog, first of all, make sure you've got a secure, safe area. If you're doing it in your bath at home, it's worth putting a bath mat down because many dogs don't like to slip around. This is a proper dog bath, so it's all uh, textured in the bottom so she can't slip. I've also got her clipped in. Again, you could use a lead just to make sure they can't jump out. They could do themselves injury if they do. So just make sure you're safe and sorted before you start. I've also got my shampoo made up. Many shampoos have a dilution rate, so it's always worth checking and diluting to the correct rate. So she's obviously used to bathing, but if you're not used to bathing, just start the, the shower away from them so they get used to the noise. And you always want to go with the direction of the coat. So you're just gonna make sure that the dog is properly wet all over. And while you're doing this, you can use your hands to check for all sorts of any lumps and bumps that might have come up on your dog that you need to know about, cuts, grazes, um, any mats, burrs. Um, and also you can feel and see grass seeds, although that is easier when drying. So we'll just come on all over. Now I always put my finger over the ear hole so we're going to go down over the ears. We must be careful not to get water into the ears. So again, I'm putting my fingers over the ear hole inside, holding the leather, putting the water down over. You don't have to worry so much um, with your gum dog breeds, but do be careful not to get water up their nose. If you've got um, a short nose dog, then you have to be really careful because otherwise you can get secondary drowning. So please be careful. So once your dog is properly wet all over, I've got my jug of shampoo. I'm going to cover the eyes up, pour that gently over. And I like to use a scrunchie, which I'm going to dip in. So again, with my hands, my fingers over the ear hole inside, I'm going to do the outside of the leather and then just use my hands to do the bit on the inside at the ends. Again, I'm just going to pop a little bit on her face, but I'm going to tend to use my fingers for that because I can watch where it's going. Be careful about getting shampoo in your dog's eyes, but don't worry too much. It is designed to be safe. Um, so long as you have used proper dog shampoo and not your own shampoo, and a lot of people like to use baby shampoo, um, but it doesn't have the right pH. So again, I'm just going to get a nice lather all over. And then while they're lathered, again, I just like to give them a good feel all over. I'm gonna have a good old rub underneath the armpits. That's where mud and mats tend to get to. But as you can see, I'm mostly going with the direction of the coat. Have a nice old rub around here. It's, a scrunchie is lovely. It gets a nice lather up. It does scrub off quite a lot of dirt, um, but obviously you can't feel stuff, so it is always, so again, I'm going to go in between the pads, make sure all the dirt is off the pads. This poor darling, good girl. And again, you can feel, it might be that you won't get a mat out in the bath, but if you know where they are, if you felt them, then you know you can, that's where to concentrate when we look at keeping the pads clean and free. Now, if you've got a Labrador breed, a Vizsla, a Vimamarama, another thing that you can do in the bath is use the Zoom Groom and you can just massage their coat and that will help to get loose and any um, hair that's ready to be removed. So you just use it like that all over. Obviously, it's not going to do much uh, with a Spaniel, but as I say, with a a Labrador, Vimarama, Vizsla, short head pointers, that works lovely in the bath. So once you're happy that you've got everywhere clean, I'm going to get rid of my jug for a minute. I'm just going to rinse the shampoo with my hands. Again, so again, you're just going to do the same thing as you did before. Just 
be nice and gentle. Good girl. Make sure you rinse all those nooks and crannies. Sometimes you hear people say, oh, I think it's the shampoo that's brought my dog out in something. That may well be the case, but often it's not the shampoo. It's the fact that it hasn't been rinsed off properly and you've left uh, residue on your dog's coat. So just make sure you rinse it all off. Good girl. super careful when they're coming to do the ears just let the water do the work just gonna cover our eyes while we're ahead and bring that back over and again i'm same on the other ear that's it good girl again i'm just gonna pop her face in the bath and just give a little place of rinse with a good girl if you've got a dog that doesn't like particularly like having a bath or tends to rash around what you can do and I have used on clients dogs until they're they're used to the bathing procedure is you can get yourself a licky mat um, that you can either stick on the wall or just fill with peanut butter or you can just put some peanut butter on there and just reapply or cream cheese um, just to keep them busy while they're being bathed and that's your bath over you would repeat that as many times until you have clean water Okay.